Hello, my name is Mike Guerin. I'm the son of an immigrant, a husband, dad, and a veteran, and I'm also a Republican serving as a District 4 County Commissioner here in Carroll County, Maryland. From this ridge looking west of the Appalachian Mountains, I'd like to think the view here isn't all that different from 1837 when our county was officially established. But it's 2023, and if you feel like America might be coming apart at the seams, you're not alone, and you're not crazy. We don't have a southern border anymore, so not surprisingly, drug overdoses and deaths are at an all-time high in our region. And you probably don't recognize your child's state-mandated curriculum anymore because CRT and DEI, not education, have become the mission. This, while our state's most important educational measures and benchmarks have taken a nosedive because unelected bureaucrats and weak-kneed elected officials decided your kid didn't need to be in school. Recently, the NAACP called the state of education in Maryland intolerable. If the last two years has taught us anything, it's that good public policy here in Maryland and across the country is on the verge of extinction. Womanhood is under attack by the woke mob and social justice warriors. And if you dare question what your kids are exposed to or have the courage to push back on the left's perverted social agenda, you're labeled a phobic, a bigot, a fascist, or part of a hate group. You might even be labeled a terrorist. But we won't let these bullying tactics work. We know how they resort to intimidation and violence. They must because they cannot win an argument without labeling their opponents and then calling for more government to achieve their goals. That, by the way, is the true meaning of fascism, Marxism, extremism, and all those other isms. That's why those same groups are always pushing the next government program, funding initiative, agency, or New Deal. Funny that you never hear them talk about family, the social contract, solutions, freedom. You never hear them talk about freedom. Those in power are clearly making the politics that make your life worse. But what can you do? I have two answers. First and foremost, educate yourself today. Make sure you know what voting districts you're in and who your elected officials are at all levels of government. Know who's on your school board and your town council, then pay attention to how they vote and what they stand for. Know who the candidates are and the dates of all the upcoming elections. The best conservative minds all agree on the next step. Get involved, locally, now. Make a phone call, get on email alerts, find meetings and attend them, and then bring a friend, send emails. Donate to someone or something that represents your values and will fight for your daughter, your son, your family, and your country. And most importantly, vote. Do not let someone else decide an election for you. And when it comes to voting, it's time to beat the left at their own game. Take advantage of early voting and send in a mail-in ballot. Do not wait for election day to vote. Fellow conservatives and all freedom-loving Americans, I leave you with this. Never stop doing what you think is right. Never give in because nothing worth doing was ever easy. And never back down because the more righteous your cause, the more opposition you will face. I'm Mike Guerin and thank you for watching.